night. Rain is finally among us. And I racing. It took a really long time compared to a whole bunch of other sims, but these guys seem to have been the only ones to do it right. Or at least the closest. We'll get his GT7 or AMS2. And that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to be talking about rain. I'll be going through some of the most important stuff with, you know, my first impressions as well. Like literally the first time I got on track with a little bit of commentary mixed in throughout because there's something I still want to touch on that I haven't quite got to. So anyways, let's, uh, let's see, let's watch this review. Oh my god, it looks so good. Yeah, have you ever heard of Welcome to Die? Well, Welcome to Rain. Alright. Here we go. I got wheel spin. Leaving the pits. Oh my god. I didn't, my my dumbass forgot to put my rain tires on. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Gran Turismo who? I will say GT7 was smoother and obviously it does look better, but they don't have the physics. Or at least I don't think they do. Alright, so let's switch to a rain tire because my dumbass forgot to put rain tires on. Actually, might be in the first thing. There we go. Oh, oh man, you can see him hydroplaning there. See, so you should be able to hear it. Oh yeah, it just went straight. All right, so I'm just gonna drive this sort of how I... <laughs> All right, so aquaplating is definitely the thing. Oh, this is gonna be a game changer. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Alright, one disappointing thing would be the windshield physics. They're not exactly responsive to direction, but it looks like they are to speed. You can see I'm not going right there. There was a lot of water. Actually, I wasn't paying attention to that. So the curbs are really, uh... Whoa. Real slippery. But most people load it up their shit and never give you true first impressions. Well, here we are. This was literally the first time I ever loaded rain up. For some reason, my mind is not... It's like already thinking what to do here. So what I did in the settings was set it to like 70% rubbered up. And let's see if... <laughs> That wet line really is a thing, because I'm pretty sure it is. Or, you know, let's just run a normal lap. Okay. Easier said than done. Alright, let's just let this come to you. Oh, shit. Hey, I made it. This is incredible. By far the most convincing rain. Here, I thought GT7 was like one of the best. And sure, visually, you got a set of cores, but they're the original set of cores. They're, they're really, uh, the physics are exactly up to par. Just to be the modern, by the way. AMS2 has decent rain, but it still does not have aquaplaning like this. Or. The rain wet line, if you will. Alright, here we go. I tried to break in the break zone, but it kind of just dragged me. Alright. It fucking works. Oh my god, it works. I 
I knew that already by watching some of those other guys, but I had to see it for myself to truly believe it. That's about the same level of driving. In fact, I think I underdrove a couple of corners. Let me really try it out. Alright, editor me has to jump in because somebody lost their footage of the dry line, so all you get to see is wet line stuff. You're just gonna have to go by my word. I got a 236 in the dry conditions. I did finger quotes. I don't know why because you can't see them. I ran a 233 in the wet. So there's a three second difference right there. So I had to clear that up. Man, this is ridiculously awesome. So again, I'm going that weird shallow entry because all the water that was there. And you can see it pretty, pretty well compared to other scenes. You can't really tell exactly where it's at. That one I got sideways. That was I didn't take too wide of an entry. I threw the puddle early and it cost me. Alright, this one might hurt. Nope, made it. So this update was definitely worth worth it, worth the wait over all these years. And I about died there because I went through the water. I'm an idiot. But what else is new? You see, I'm not using a lot of brake. Alright, that lap was kind of all over the place. And I couldn't brake because it had any little bit of brake past 10%. It's it gets weird. Alright, so I think that kind of confirmed it because I'm not the best driver. And you can visually see me struggling when I went through the regular race line. Alright, that's going to do it for this review. That was also in quotes because I'm not sure what this was. I was just in awe most of the time. But I'm going to leave you with a clip of me getting stuck in the gravel, which is bound to happen when you full throttle like I did. Or just don't stop at all. You just need like 5% throttle and you'll be out of the trap in no time. And I guess I'll end the video with a time lapse. It's in recent Jewish side.